I like computers. Infestation at chronic level. There's more turrets! We need to deactivate the defenses. Monroe, I think I can disable that security system. I just need to reach that console. Here, go ahead. Come on, Monroe! Go, child, go fucking do it. Where the hell is he even? Is Chell chelling right now? Where is it? Take out those turrets, Monroe! Yeah, fuck it. Look out. Yeah, fucking Chell. Keep those turrets off me while I work. Watch out! It's the strangest system. Yeah, tell us more about that, Chell. This makes no sense. Yes, Chell. Now you know why I hate him. There's no way I can. Oh, wait. Okay. Disabled the defensive systems. I've located the scientists in an adjacent room. I've overridden the security protocols, so we should be able to reach them now. Is my hatred for Chell not justified? Holy fuck, what are you wearing? We're with the Federation. Are you in need of any assistance? Yes. We've been trapped down here for days. Thank you. I'm Dr. Inigor. This is Dr. Clea. I'm Lieutenant Monroe, from the Starship Enterprise. Ensigns Chell, Corban, and Murphy. The Federation? Well, what are you doing out here? We came here to investigate an attack on one of our starships in the local Atrexian space station. I hope no one was hurt. Who attacked the station? The same aliens that invaded these ruins. They're not aliens. They're exomorphs. We manufactured them. They're genetically modified beasts of burden. Beasts of burden? Try killing machines. Not by design. We don't know why they became aggressive. Their behavioral regulators must have malfunctioned. When Clea deciphered this amazing machinery, we manufactured only the peaceful exomorph templates. Inigor, please. Krindo's still trapped in the lower level. Lieutenant Monroe, please save him. Quite so. Please save my son, if you can. I'm amazed you were able to make it this far. Yes, climbing over so many alien corpses was inconvenient. How many exomorphs can this factory create? Very good question. Since the facility automatically mines the planet's inorganic compounds... Then the planet can crank out its weight and killer aliens? Well, not quite its weight. More like the total mass of its carbon deposits, plus... That would be billions. Theoretically, over a trillion, if you account for the... Enough! Let's stop this murder world. Stay here and protect them. It's not a murder world. It's the glory of the Idril. It's... It's gonna kill your son if we don't get going. Oh, yes. Please go. So she's wearing a bikini as an outfit for this uh, mission. All right, well, whatever. Oh, look, there's a secret. It's 10 shielding. Awesome. All right, so let me go save his son or whatever. It's always Monroe going out on his own. The hazard team is useless. I am the hazard team, let's be honest now. So it's four secrets, two starships. That's uh, what we gotta do. All for the all for the bikini later. This is a pretty effective weapon. And there we go. My phaser is more effective against these guys. Fuck. Here, let me just phase it out. And there we go. Oh man. What a secret. It was so worth it. Let's go back to the staff. Uh, so, right. Uh, there's supposed to be. There we go. Tunnel. And a starship. There we go. So, that basically does it for most of the secrets on this level already. Alright. And now let's go back to this.
This weapon is really badass. You can kind of see why I would like it. It's a fucking glorious staff of death. Oh god. All right, that was fun. Now there's gonna be a little thing. Uh, uh, well, let's let's open that. I like how they blow up. Glorious exploding guys. All right, uh, let's. Okay, so there's supposed to be a. L there's a ladder. Okay, so we gotta take the ladder down. Ah, uh, let me down. All right, now we gotta explore around here because there's uh, most definitely a secret here. We need to just get past this guy. I'm trying to think of where it is. The, the both the fans are are running, so it's not. Oh, there we go, golden starship. In the most inconvenient of places. But then again, they wouldn't be very good if they were convenient. All right, and that's it. That's the last uh, starship of this level. Now we gotta go save uh, whatever the guy's son is. So, you know, there is something that I didn't talk about, I guess, uh, last time, which is the fact that... Oh my god, no. There's no female Monroe, because there's Alex Monroe of the girl type in the first game. And I guess it just wouldn't make much This isn't exactly Mass Effect, you know. You can't have the male relationships. Dr. Crindo, I presume. Yes. I'm with the Federation. Well, I'm glad you found me. The Exomorphs nearly took my arm off. You're lucky they didn't take your head off. <laughs> You're right. Looks like we made some mistakes. Explain. I think the behavioral regulators malfunctioned while I was modifying the jump jets. I'm sorry for... Save it. Show me where we shut down this murder world. Come with me. Shut it down. Well, it will take some time. About six hours to discontinue the incubation process. You don't have six hours. It would be faster for me to repair the behavioral regulators. Maybe two hours. No, it's faster than that. What? No! Alright, well, that's, um... It's <laughs> pretty fast, Monroe. Good job. We love you, Monroe. We created our Exomorphs to be builders, not killers. Look how quickly they restored the facility from ruins. To our eternal shame, we lost control of them. But we proved the Idril were a great empire, and we exposed a Trexian lies, and... You almost got yourselves killed. That's the price of seeking truth. And the dead Atrexians, were they also your price? We can't undo the catastrophe, but we can atone for it. We have the ability to create a limitless workforce for both the Idril and the Atrexians. We cannot let you create new Exomorphs. I can fix the behavioral regulators. They only malfunctioned because we had to work in secret. We don't know that for a fact. The Atrexians have suppressed our archaeological evidence to distort history, oppress our people, and control our planets. That's a very serious charge. I don't make that claim lightly. We found archaeological evidence on Vioc Theta-3, but the Atrexian government shut down our dig site and impounded all our artifacts. We were furious. Furious enough to kill? The truth is our only weapon. The machinery in this facility will allow us to prove that the Atrexians took over ancient Idril colony worlds. Unless the Federation has destroyed all the evidence to help their Atrexian allies. We are not allies of the Atrexians. But you wish to be. You want them in your Federation of Planets. Enough. We are not hiding your findings. Besides the safety concerns, have you considered the rights of the Exomorphs? 
right? They are clearly not sentient beings. We'll make that determination in consultation with Starfleet Command. Until then, you are confined to quarters. I like that guy's head is just down. He feels nothing but shame. Monroe, I'd like you to talk to Clea. I suspect she's the most likely to be cooperative. Aye, sir. Captain, should I assist Lieutenant Monroe? I think not. Monroe has an advantage here. Clea credits him with saving Crindo. Even if Crindo does not. Uh-oh, Telsey is getting a little jealous. Naturally, because I just brushed her off a billion times. Alright. I gotta go talk to Clea about the Idril. Let's go talk to Picard instead. Come. Hey. Have you spoken with Clea? This is a very sensitive matter. Please be discreet in your inquiries. On your way, Lieutenant. <laughs> On your way, Lieutenant. He has a different voice for that. Seriously. Dude, let's see what's in Picard's closet. What the hell is this thing? On your way, Lieutenant. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Your door just tried to eat me, Picard. Fuck. He's probably like just playing with it with this little control panel there. Anyways, let's go let's go attack to Clea. Hazard crew quarters. Oh, there's a secret and a starship here. Thanks for arranging my transfer. So why would Clea be in the hazard crew quarters? This doesn't really make much sense, because... Well, for fuck's sake, it's... it's... I don't know. Oh, we can see all the people... people's rooms. Oh, there's... what's B? The crew... oh, dude, let's go to the crew lounge. Fuck that noise. Let's go play some pool and... I was on the holodeck observing the Andorian flora in their natural habitat. How did you sustain this injury with the holodeck safety protocols in place? I overrode the holodeck safety protocols by running it in diagnostics mode. Why would you do a thing like that? Isn't Andorian flora carnivorous? Well, yes, but... Who gave you authorization to disable those safety protocols? No one did. I didn't think it would turn out this way. You realize you could have been eaten. I'm rescheduling the rest of my appointments today as you clearly need my counseling. But what about my plants in the hydroponics bay? I'll have someone take over your assignment for the next few days. I think you need some time to reflect on your actions. And the epic conclusion of the plant storyline. Okay, there's entertainment programming, so let's, uh, I don't know. Wow, this is a pretty shitty crew lounge. I won't lie. I mean, it's literally just tables. Do we even get a replicator here? Fuck. I want to eat something. Oh, I guess this is what it is. Okay. I want uh, Earl Grey tea, hot. I can't make it do anything. All right. Well, that, that sucks. Hey. Oh, no. If we'd had the hazard team's tactical skills when the aliens bombarded us, the outcome would have been different. <laughs> this is, he literally is the worst. Uh, like, oh, let's talk to Telsia. No, she's not there. Oh, well. Found the secret. Who the fuck's crew quarters is this, and why are they fucking hiding starships from me? Hey, look, it's Voyager. They got like a model. They got model ships while on a ship. That's the most unnecessary thing I've ever seen. All right, so that's, that's a shuttle. Yeah, so that's basically it. So wait, wait, whose whose room is this? Fuck! I'm trying to read the fucking door. God damn it! It's uh. La Tons Thompson or something. This guy's the worst haircut. Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. I thought fucking bull cuts went out in the 22nd century. Uh, there's Thomas O'Dell. Nope. All right, I, I don't want to go there yet. Ensign Corban. Nope. Ensign Chang. Nope. Dude, we haven't even heard anything from Chang in such a long time. Chell. Go bother him. I hope I'm waking him up. And Juli Juliet Gerard, nope. And Jonathan, and apparently I don't have a room here. I, I get no quarters. All right, fine. Hey. You may enter. Clea is waiting inside. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm opening the door. Fuck. Hello, Clea. 
Are you busy? Please come in. I'd like the company. Inagor said your research held the key to activating the machinery. How so? My research explores the relationship between people and the machinery they develop. And the ways the machinery develops people in turn. So, why did you need to manufacture exomorphs? Couldn't you prove your theory without them? Of course. If Crindo hadn't activated those terrifying creatures, we could have completed our research by now. You didn't want to create exomorphs? It was breathtaking to see them come to life. But risky. When they turned on us, I was sure we were dead. What happened? They chased us from the lab. We were safe, but we had no way to communicate with Crindo or the scientists on the surface. I was terrified. And then, you were there. Hmm. Tell me, Clea, what if your research shows that the Idril did not make the ruins? Then I will publish my findings proudly. Quite the dispassionate scientist. On the contrary, I'm quite passionate. I come from a world of tremendous beauty. Lush green jungles, pink coral beaches, and snowy mountains. It sounds appealing. The first time I saw Idril from space, I cried. I wish you could see my world. So, um, there's a dialogue choice here. And basically the first one, I'm going to go away and then I'm going to go talk to Telsia instead. And this one means uh, we spend more time together. So, hmm, it's a choice between, let's see, boring old Telsia who turns around really quickly and doesn't say anything. Or uh, the bikini-clad uh, alien woman who clearly has something for me, so fuck that. Perhaps I can. Come with me to Stellar Cartography. Like, was that even a choice? Let's be honest. And the security guy just doesn't give a fuck. All right. This ship is amazing. The resources are overwhelming. If I had access to this level of technology, I could have completed my work long ago. May I? Be my guest. Here's my home world. Vazbaj 7 to the Atrexians. I come from a small island south of the largest continent. I haven't been back since I reached adolescence. I joined Inigor's research team when I was still in school. Why did you leave so early? There's no truth to be found in Idril's schools. They're controlled by the Atraxians. I had to leave to find real knowledge. I left home early too, but I couldn't wait to leave my planet. I had to get to the stars. Do you miss home? Well, I didn't, until I thought I'd be stuck in the Delta Quadrant for the rest of my life. Then I couldn't wait to get home. Show me your world? This is Earth. Sol 3. I'm from an area called Vermont. What's it like? It's a rugged place. Very independent and resourceful people. Like you, Alexander. Call me Alex. I would love to see this land of Vermont, Alex. Lieutenant Monroe, to the bridge. On my way. Clea, I'll have security escort you back to your quarters. Perhaps later you can tell me more about Earth. I enjoyed talking to you. I enjoyed talking to you. I enjoyed talking to you. She really turns around creep creepily. Most of the people in this fucking place are creepy. Hey, oh, you did follow us. Let me know if you need any assistance, Lieutenant. <laughs> Let me know if you need any assistance. That oddly sounds really dirty. Do you need any assistance, Lieutenant? All right. Well, let's go to whatever the fuck. Deck one bridge. Time to go say hi to Picard. We'll beam the prisoners to your ship. That won't be necessary. Just release them. I beg your pardon? The killing was not their fault. Those three scientists merely stumbled on advanced technology left by an extinct and long forgotten race. Forgive my skepticism, but what makes you so sure the Idril did not build those ruins? Legends of Idril glory are fairy tales. 
We have extensive records of our first contact with the Idril, and they were a simple people. Then you won't mind us investigating their claims in the facility. We're going to destroy the facility before anyone else is hurt. Commander, that is a priceless archaeological site, not to mention a breakthrough technology. I strongly recommend... It is our planet and our business. We appreciate your assistance, but you cannot dictate our policy. The facility is dangerous and must be destroyed. Now please release our Idro prisoners. You cannot detain them without our authorization. We can hold them for the attack on the Dallas. That would be a mistake. Prosecuting them for being ignorant Idril would hand the Separatists a propaganda victory. Did you impound Inagor's artifacts from Vioc Theta III? Inagor and his followers fabricated mock artifacts to look like Idril creations. If they're counterfeiters, why are they still free? Their punishment was exile from Vioc Theta III and the destruction of their counterfeit objects. If you destroy this facility, will you call it counterfeit as well? Captain, we are reading antimatter explosions on Vioc Epsilon V. You can release the Idril. Our dead now have justice. Destroying history is not justice. Goodbye, Captain Picard. Commander Tuvok, the Idril are free to go. Escort them to Shuttle Bay 2. Aye, sir. Doctors, the Atrexian Council has released you. Hmm, what are they up to? Don't be so surprised. They can't stop destiny. I'm surprised and worried. You always worry about nothing. You should cultivate the unwavering certainty of our ancestors. They were hardly unwavering. My research says they were. Then why did it take my research to activate the facility? Enough! Thank you for your hospitality. Don't thank these barbarians? They destroyed our only proof. My son, this sector is filled with proof. <laughs> yes. The work awaits. Come, clear. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, I petitioned the Enterprise for permission to stay on board. But why, child? I want to help the Federation study the Exomorph bodies. It's my own small way of atoning for the death we caused. I forbid it! You do not control me! Captain Picard, Dr. Clea has requested permission to stay aboard the Enterprise and assist in the investigation of the Exomorph bodies. Her skills could be quite useful. She's authorized to stay on board. Do not allow her to stay, Picard. Dr. Clear, you will be assisting the research team. Welcome to the Enterprise. Thank you, Captain. Picard out. You'll regret this. Crindo, you are cleared to leave. I suggest you do so immediately. On your way, Lieutenant. Take out those turrets, Monroe!